another important uh, facility for users to select language is the language switching block which we normally put in as a, a menu item so to enable the language switching uh, block what we have to do is as ever sign in to the info point so we get the uh, overlay menu at the top head over to structure select blocks and down the bottom of the blocks we will find the language switcher uh, user interface text so what we're going to do is we could drag this uh, but we're going to stick it in the menu bar and if we stick it in the menu bar by selecting that menu save blocks and then the language switcher will only appear after we've configured language detection well we should already have done that we did that on the previous video and if we have a look in the menu bar we've got the language switcher block at the top so let's um, yep yeah, we've actually saved it there's nothing else to save so if we now head to the main menu we hit home we'll find that we've got Welsh and English selection obviously at the moment because we've not created any content you can click away uh, but it won't actually do very much at all you will see grayed out in the browser bar a little question mark language CY or language EN according to what you've selected and this will be used later on by the info point automatically completely invisible to the user to make sure that the right language content is uh, was always displayed so when we've done that we'll close this video down and we get on to the interesting thing of creating content in English and Welsh